Hello everyone, this is Joseph K, and I'm going to need you to stop making fun of me and let's play Tales of the Abyss 100%. In the last part, we uh, took on LaGretta, and she uh, told us some very intriguing stuff about Foma Cree and the score and how people are, like, basically a, a slaves to the score. And yeah, now we gotta go to Xerius. But before that, let's find out what's going on with Stop Making Fun of Me. Damn it! Master! Why won't anyone tell me what's going on? Why did Legretta call me a reject? And everybody else is keeping all these big secrets from me. Stop making fun of me. I'm the ambassador, damn it. Please don't get angry. Then go away. Just leave me alone already. All of you, I swear. Master. Now, there is another skit, but I don't know how to trigger it. I should have looked that up between parts. But, uh, give me one second and I will be right back. Alrighty, y'all, I'm back, and yeah, uh, this is all I gotta do, so, now, before we go out here, I have one thing to say to you, get every single treasure chest in this area before you leave, because stuff's gonna happen in this game here in the near future, and you are not gonna be able to come back here, so, make sure you do that, and now, we're coming to the next big, like, main event with the game, and I think it's like, I guess you could say the end of part one of the game. But now I'm going to need you, and before you do, before you even get, leave this area, before you leave here and go to Xeriath, I need you to go back and fight the Sword Dancer if you have not already fought the Sword Dancer yet. Because I know I said uh, a few videos ago that it would be the last time you can fight him. This is truly the last time you can fight him. Once you get to the end of like the events in this uh, first part of the game, then that's it. You will not be able to fight the Sword Dancer level 1 again, and consequently, you'll lock yourself out of that quest. Now, if you've done all that, you've gotten every single treasure in here by following my guide, and you've got, you fought the uh, Sword Dancer, then leave. And as you step outside, the game's going to take 15 minutes to load. You're going to get a skit. A kind teacher. Damn it, why does everyone keep making fun of me? Luke, perhaps we could have explained things better. But if you're going to keep up that attitude... Stop preaching. Shut the hell up, you cold. Stop being so childish. Shut up. Master Van never made fun of me. He was always nice to me. He always explained things if I didn't know them. He... So you're just a puppet who can't do anything without my brother around? What? Never mind, but let me tell you something. You better start thinking on your own. Or one of these days, you're going to do something you cannot undo. Damn it, Master Van. I fucking hate Luke. Uh, by the way, these enemies are the exact same enemies we fought outside of St. Bina. And I think... We want to go this way. Yeah, there's Xeriath over there, but just so you get an idea of where you're at, if you follow this path, you'll come to the bridge we saw earlier where we got that skin. Well, Luke made something he can't... That's not good. But yeah, if you look over there, there's the uh, spawn point search point we got, and over here is where you, we got that skit about the bridge being on. So, yeah. 
Just figured I'd show that off. There's nothing else over here as far as I know. There aren't any search points or anything like that. So just follow this path. And into Xerius we go. Sorry I spoiled that that's Xerius. My bad. Get the panoramic view. Is this? This is worse than I imagined. Hey, Natalia, they're dirty. Get away from them. You might catch something. What's dirty? What am I going to catch? Don't say such stupid things. Are you all right? Did you all come from the Kim Loskin side? Uh, um... I'm Natalia, Princess of Kim Laska. We've come to offer aid at the behest of His Majesty, Emperor Peony. Ah, a man named Grants told us you'd be coming. My name's Pyro. I'm the local supervisor for the mine here. The mayor fell ill, so I'm handling things in his place. Where are Dorian General Grants and the rescue team? Grants is inside the mine. He's attempting to rescue our companions who collapsed there. It looks like the miasma isn't quite as thick here as by the Fubris River. Actually, it kind of looks thicker here than by the Fubris River, but whatever. Apparently, it's pretty bad inside the mine. Let's take a look around out here, then head for the mine. Honestly, the, the miasma by the... Luke! By the uh, Fubris River looked more like mist to me than actual miasma. Huh? Oh, right. All right, Mr. Ambassador, do what you gotta do. What could I do? What I could do? <sighs> Luke, come on. Think how everyone will feel if they see us looking depressed. But I'm the ambassador. I don't have anything to do. Huh? There's plenty for you to do. Transport the injured. Carry things. But why do I have to do that? That's not my job. Luke. What? You don't honestly think that, do you? Look around you. Use your head. Come on, let's go. But carry them off one at a time would take forever. I could use hyper resonance to get rid of the miasma in an instant. But first, I've got to find Master Van. Give me one quick second. I actually have my uh, notes wrong on something, and I'll be right back. All right, that's it there. Let's get this skin. This is worse than I had imagined. Pete could be dying already. We've got to hurry. All these people lying on the ground. There are probably more still trapped in the mines. This is terrible. It looks like some of them are still in decent shape, but, I, but asking them to help would be rather harsh. Should we split up? First, we need to assess the situation. We'll decide how to proceed after that. We'll have to go through the entire town. Is that okay with you, Luke? Luke, are you listening? Oh, that's Natalia. Y yeah. Mighty Town Act Ziri. The blue and green stones in the walls. Those are minerals, right? <clears throat> yes. Minerals from Xeriath are highly valued as raw materials for weapons and armor. So if we all just grab a couple along the way, we'll all be rich. Just kidding. <laughs> I like her trying to bring some levity to the situation. The people of Xeriath are risking their lives to mine the minerals from these tunnels. It's our duty to do what we can to rescue them. Yeah. What what can I do here? Can I get rid of the miasma? Yep. I hate Luke. I hate him a lot. The pain of Xeriuth. Xeriuth used to be part of Kimoska, wasn't it? 
Indeed, although this area has always been embroiled in conflict. The mining rights must be pretty tempting. Undoubtedly, the raw materials from these mines can satisfy an entire country's needs with ease. But to think of how much the living here must suffer from such pointless conflict. And now there's this miasma to deal with as well. I can sympathize with the people of Exeriuth. Alright, that's it. Four skins as soon as you enter. Let's go up here. Let's try it. Let's talk to some of these people. Find out what's going on. This is the mining town Xerius, though with all this miasma, it's turned into a town of sick people. Come to think of it, wasn't Dale Pass blocked off by a landslide? Did you come through there to rescue us? Yeah, kind of did. Leave me alone. There's nothing anyone can do for me now. I left my family and gave to come work here, but the miasma just had to appear on the day my son came to visit. All I can think about now is getting him home safely. To put it bluntly, we're in the worst possible situation. I have no idea what we should do. Come over here, talk to this kid. You're going to save us, right? My home's in Engave. Hurry up and take you there. I just wanted to play with Daddy. How come all this is happening? All right, come in here. I think this is the end. No, this is not the end. So you're the ones who are heading into Tunnel 14? I can't give you much hope, but I hope this will help. But we do want to talk to this guy because he'll give us three apple gels, three orange gels, and one life bottle. And a panacea bottle. If you want to rest, head down to the miner's quarters. Be careful you don't breathe too much of the miasma. This used to be a storehouse for holding what we mined from the tunnels. Apologies for that cut. Again, once I'm recording, I have to blow my nose, spit, clear my throat, all that fun stuff. We just shipped out everything that was stored here, so it was handy for an infirmary. That's why it's only got the most basic facilities and beds. The people taken here are, to be blunt, the hopeless cases. You can hardly expect to get better with no facilities or medicine. I doubt I'll be long myself. And Xeriath is just a really, really, like, sad town, sad atmosphere. I thought you were a new patient. We just happened to be here for periodic examinations when that earthquake occurred. We've been doing our best to heal injuries since then. But we can hardly do anything with this lack of facilities and medicine. These symptoms are of miasma toxicosis. Miasma toxicosis occurs as a result of miasma entering the body. The initial symptoms resemble a cold. As the miasma builds up in the body, it begins destroying the body's internal organs, causing great pain, eventually resulting in the body system shutting down. Though in most cases, the patient succumbs to weakness before the disease progresses that far. But it seems there are some people who are not affected. We don't know why this is. Looks like <coughs> I won't be able to celebrate my kids' birthdays again. <coughs> I promised a birthday present. I have to uh, go buy uh, something. It's been a while since <coughs> home. My, <coughs> my wife's going to be mad again. Are you also playing enter Tunnel 14? Even those unaffected by the miasma will be getting this of long exposure. exposure. I'm worried about the people that entered the tunnel earlier. Please do not overexert yourselves. We must clean the miasma out of their bodies immediately if we could only move the patients to another location. This is crazy. Going to die. Isn't that crazy? Hey, that's crazy, right? Right? Say it's crazy. How come I have to die? I don't... I don't want to die yet. No response. He seems to be unconscious. He 
seems to be disturbed by dreams. Yeah. You think that's sad? Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. Now, I'm going to do something. It doesn't do anything as far as I know. But if you come over here, use new attack, you can hit this mine cart. And it, um... Pushes the mine into the tunnel. Or shed, or whatever the hell that is. Once the miasma gets to you and you get miasma toxicosis, the death rate's pretty high. Not that worrying about it will change anything. Tunnel 14 is down there. The rescue team's already gone in. Just head down this elevator and it'll be just off to the side. If you're going to Tunnel 14, take this elevator down. Talk to this guy. <coughs> I feel so heavy. Maybe I'm overworked. I guess I should take a little rest. <coughs> Come in here. I never expect to be caught up in a disaster like this. Do you need anything? This guy will sell you things. If you need anything. I kind of restocked on... Pretty much everything from before. Now keep the maces. Sell the Shakujo. Sell the bow. Sell there and oh right, we have a Sephira now. I like to put the Sephira on, uh, Jade or Natalia, because I really don't put anything else on them, and later Natalia will be replacing Tyr for the most part in my party, because I like my party to be Luke, Natalia, Jade, and Annas. That's who I like my party to be. But since we're going to have Jade with us like all the time, give him this. Now, this is really cool. Uh, the Sephira will allow us to get 50% more gall from battles, which is very nice. Especially when you look at how damn expensive everything is. I wonder if I'll make it back alive. Um... Anything else you need to buy, I think you should be good. You don't need a life bottle, a panacea bottle. I am going to buy one holy bottle and one dark bottle. Not because I need them, but I want to just have them. And let's see here. Let me see how much of these uh, food items I can get. Because I want to have five of everything at least. Yeah, that should be good. Buy that. Alright. I came here with my dad and ended up calling this. How about some weapons or armor? Come to this guy and he will sell you uh, weapons. If you really want to. I'm not sure I really need to buy anything. Maybe the feather robe. But outside of that, yeah, I don't really think I need to buy anything else. Uh, yeah, let's get a scythe for him. I could buy a gothic mace for, uh, I'm gonna buy one steel sword. Just one. 
I could buy a gothic mace for Anis, but nah, we're fine. All right, now let's uh, equip our new weapons and stuff. And then I guess we can go ahead and sell them. I guess we'll give the scimitar to him. All right, we're good. And let's finally sell and then let's rest up at the end. I've been recording for. I am like super tired. I wanted to get coffee, but I forgot my phone at home, so I couldn't get Starbucks. Well, I could have, but I didn't know how much money I had on my card, so I just said screw it. Alright, so let's rest up. I think we talked to this guy. So, you're the one going to total 14. There's plenty of space here if you want to rest. How about it? Yes, rest. Doesn't look like there's plenty of space. But rest up here and you get... A skit. It seems our goodwill ambassador may not provide as much assistance after all. And just when we need all the help we can get. Grrr. He may just need time to get used to it. It's a first for him after all. I'm sure within a few days he'll come to a sense and perform his duties as a noble and an ambassador. Until then, we'll just have to do what we can for the sufferers without him. But if we stay in Xerius too long, the miasma will begin to affect us as well. I would recommend against including the more useless members in our plans. Doing so will only cause problems later. Oh, that's mean, Colonel. It's just the plain truth of the matter. Yeah, perhaps it is. Watch out for the miasma. My head started hurting, so I had them look at me. They said it was just exhaustion, not miasma toxicosis. That was a big relief. But I was so worried my headache got even worse, so I'm resting myself now. How could I sleep at a time like this, you ask? What better time is there to sleep? You shouldn't rush into ton of 14 either. Take a good rest here before you go. Okay, let's talk to this person. The tunnel over there is Tunnel 7, the only usable tunnel left. But even that isn't completely free of miasma. It looks like some people just don't get miasma toxicosis, so we're going to keep on working. If we do, don't work as long as we can, we might regret it later after all. Talk to this person? I'm fine, just a little tired. Just let me rest a little. Ah yes, that is basically a job as it is. The death for everybody is pretty imminent, yet they're going to keep working and getting as much done as they can so we don't lose out. This Tunnel 7 is the only one still alive. It hasn't been dug very deep, so the miasma isn't that bad. Though, to be honest, we probably don't have much time. It's just a question of whether the mountain crumbles first or we collapse first. We wanted to go to Tunnel 14 too, but with all the monsters that appeared, we can't reach the back. Those of us who can deal with the miasma are working off the stress. We can't do anything for the miasma. Miasma tax toxicosis anyway. That's it. Nothing else to do in here. And like this dude said, let's go down. Asthma coming out of that crack. Why? Our mountain, it's all crumbling away. That's Tunnel 14 right there. A bunch of soldiers just ran in there. Are things okay? As if the Miasma wasn't bad enough, there are monsters in Tunnel 14 now. 
we're decently strong ourselves, but against monsters. That treasure chest down there, did someone leave it out to work on it or something? I have no idea what's inside it. I'd love to go and open it, but there's no way down from here. The only other way is to go through Tunnel 14. Oh, so there is a treasure chest down there. Wonder what's in that treasure chest. Well, I guess we better go find out. Next time, and let's play Tales of the Abyss 100%. This is Joseph K. signing out. Y'all have a great day. Keep real, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.